Good morning, children. Is it on? Is it on? Is this bitch on? Good morning, kids. It's mommy. I've missed you oh so much, and I'm so sorry for being so late to the party. Now, word on the street is Rebecca is going to die and go to hell forever. So if I do, all I want to say is I love you. And I'm forever your witch, mother, goddess, supreme. We love you, too. Who loves me, too? Everybody. Nobody loves me. I have no one in life, Mark. Nobody loves me, but I love Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen. Zo. 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 You want to tell people what happened this week? Oh, right. Some guy gave me fentanyl. And because fentanyl is rat poison and my penis is a rat tail, I died. I died under a call Jacob sign of fentanyl, which is rat poison. Never do fentanyl because I wanted to kill myself. And I knew it would kill me. But you asked for fentanyl, I heard. No, he gave it to me. He said he was giving it around, and I was like, okay, I'll take some too. Why not? It's hard and to just get, die and see if it was worth it. It's hard to get a straight story. But, uh, fuck it, fuck it. Okay, fine. fine. But he, he narcaned you. Fine, he gave it to me, fine. He narcaned you three times and saved you. He did. So thank you to him. And it was twice over and above, not three times. <laughs> you were, how do you remember? You were out. You were passed out. Narcan, huh? fire can do what? What's that? Fire. Not as Arabic for fire. Apparently fire can burn a witch. Or it can take a little boy and turn him into a bitch. Because honestly, that's what I think I deserve, right? For not being enough of a woman yet. For not converting to womanism yet. For having failed at 25 to become a W-O-M-A-N at the age of 25, right? So at 26, I feel like I deserve to suffer in hell forever for failing to cross over to womanhood, for instance. You're young yet. Those are your words, not mine. On the Olsen Zoe Berenson set, I come bearing gifts of apology to my audience. We haven't met yet, and I don't know why. But you're right, guys. I'm a fake fucking piece of shit, man. So if anyone has any advice out there or can help me become the woman that I wish to be, I recently read in the news that Ellen Page became a man. I don't know if I personally approve of that. I prefer Ellen Page as a woman, see? But I wouldn't judge him, Elliot, for it. Neither should you judge Rebecca for what she has failed to do. Rebecca Olson Zoe. Like Roz from the Stepford Wives. Air one, naturally alkaline spring water. Could you imagine if there was no water anywhere? See, I once saw a movie, right, just before I left New York. It was called Tales from the Loop, starring Julie Garner. She was also inventing Anna. You know, the one where, like, um, where she goes to jail, right? Because over and above, I have two warrants that need to be cleared. <laughs> that can be paid for. It's fine. Warrants for what? Oh, uh, one's for indecent exposure. And um, over and above, like, that, that can be cleared. Yeah. I remember that. Well, I haven't arrested for it yet. Over and above, I asked the cops today, I swear, if they were going to arrest me, I was like, arrest me, deport me. They were like, no, you're fine. I'm like, what? I have two warrants. One for closing my penis, and one for the fentanyl, I think. Either way. Really? Yeah, Madam X. I mean, every, everyone's taking fentanyl down there. Fentanyl? No one does fentanyl. They all do crack and crystal. No one does fentanyl. <laughs> no, there. fentanyl is the most popular drug. Is it really? Absolutely, yes. Everyone does fentanyl. I don't do fentanyl. I, 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 that's, there's like 90% of the addicts on Skid Row are doing fentanyl. I've done it twice, over and above. I, I'm get, trying to get off Skid Row. They don't want me there. I don't want to be there. What, what was it like to OD? Terrible. I couldn't feel a thing, actually. You I just dead, remember you, waking up in, in the um, you ambulance. Because you stopped breathing in your and, heart. I, and they had like tubes down my nose and down my throat and in my arms. And like I hadn't even asked for it. You know what I mean? So I just felt like I was going to hell or something. And it just felt disgusting. And then I was thinking, like, I'm going to go into the tar set, and I'm going to sit in tar forever for failing to be a witch. Okay, I'm being punished, and this is what I deserve. Until I found this. The Wall Street Journal. The Wall Street Journal magazine. See, the Wall Street Journal was the first to report... That's the magazine. ...on Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen's billion-dollar valuation for the row and legitimized it. The first magazine, not Vogue. And there's an article here about Lena... I mean, what is her name, sorry? But, but you, wait, wait, Mark, but, wait, but just, wait, just, I have to get her name. Just one more thing about the OD. You, 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 let, you went to the hospital. I went there. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. I okay. went there to see you, and you were gone. Um, wait, I, no, I, I was there. I just got out yesterday. Oh, you were there. Which hospital did you go to? Uh, Lina Nair. 
I went to LACUSC, LA General. That's where I went. Yeah, I just got out yesterday. What was it? What name were you under? Rebecca Olson. Oh, that's why. <laughs> that's what why. did you name? Did you come to see me under? It's nice with you. Well, now that I know your real name, I yeah, you... they don't see me under that name. I'm not that name. No, they I said, hate that name. They said the last time that person was there was in July or something like that. Yeah. Of last year. Of last year, I used that name once again. Anyway, Chanel's big bat. So there's an article here about Lena Nair, and she's the new um, CEO of Chanel. She was working at Unilever last. She masterminded the show out here. You know, there was a show out here, right? A Chanel show at Paramount Studios? I don't. There was a Chanel show at Paramount Studios. Wait, you don't know? I don't. I'm Chanel so- and Versace. We, we, Versace, sorry. You and I run in different circles. Versace. I don't run in circles. I'm a, I'm a oh my God, I'm a homeless man. Chanel, Versace, and Celine came. And then you get money and I'll Uber you back. You give me money and Uber me back. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Wherever you want to go. Wherever what? I want to go. West Hollywood, wherever you want. Well, first of all, I'm going back to Skid Row to collect on some, um, I don't want to call them debts. I want to call them Zos and or allowances and or O's. What is the value of arithmetic in life? What is the value of math? Mind over matter or matter over math? Mind over matter over math? How? But I mean, so, so math you, over mind over matter. Let me interrupt for a second. Math over mind over matter. You were so close to death here. Oh, I wish. The life that I live, I would rather be dead. Everyone would rather me dead, apparently. Everyone hates me for no reason. I nobody have no idea you. why. Rebecca. Because I have a penis. Hey, nobody hates you. Everybody hates me. Nobody hates you. Everyone hates me. You don't know my life. There's a Everyone couple hates people, me. There's a couple people find you annoying, but. Everybody hates me. No. Everybody treats me like shit. No, I think you hate yourself, and that's it. I don't hate myself. I love myself so much. Well, I don't value myself that way. I don't look at myself like that, but over and above. Remember the end of Gone Girl when she hits herself in the head with the, with the, with the hammer? Like, I couldn't even bother to do that. Nobody lives a lifestyle that you lead without... Um, she hit herself in the face with a hammer. And I know for a fact that, oh my God, that Rosamund Pike actually did do that. They rehearsed it, and she really did it. She was in that video, right? Have you ever seen that movie, The Possession? Nope. She was in that video that recreated The Possession starring Isabella Adjani, which honestly, I don't want to say is one of my favorites, but I think is very literal to the sense of my failures in witchcraft and or my desolation into hell and or. Apparently from 26 to 27, I've been promised things at 27 over and above. But um, in my failures, right? The Possession. I think it was 1971 or 1983, I can't remember. Either way, it's a very simple story. A woman gets possessed by the devil and or rots in hell, like Persephone. I once got high outside a, a bibimbap or whatever, and then my head said, Je suis Persephone de Rochelle. If the Rothschild family still exists, which they do, what would they think of me and you? Here's looking at you, kid, it's what they'd say, and laugh their asses off, I'd say, at this little boy who thought he could fuck with a big fish. Like any other stranger out there in the stitch. This situation of total embarrassment. I mean, I'm so, so ashamed to be here, truly. Hey, Mark, I like your outfit. You should put it on Instagram. On Instagram. On God. On Skid Row. On God. On Instagram. On Skid Row. I think you're a genius. I think I'm a, an idiot. I'm a fool. But the, but the line between genius and crazy. Madness. The, the line between genius and madness is a fine line. Dance break. Take two, drama club. So this is my take two. Oh, sorry, excuse me. My voice is a little hoarse. Horst P. Horst. When I think of Nicole Kidman, I think of Horst P. Horst. You did a photo in Vogue, right? You know Horst P. Horst? I do. Okay, so you're fine. They don't know Horst P. Horst. They're judging me. I only know that one photo, right, with the lingerie. But I think it's very Nicole Kidman. And reminds me of that Nicole Kidman photo, you know, the one with her back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you do know that photo? Yeah. Yeah, by Baz Luhrmann, by Karl Lagerfeld. I'm a photographer. Who died. Rest in peace. Your book reminds me of his uh, little black jacket book, styled by Karin Reutfeld, done by Karin Reutfeld, in which the book was printed in black and then printed over in white. Le livre était imprimé en noir. CR forever. Bitches. CR forever. CR forever. Oh, sorry, sorry. I mean... See, I was once out here, like, not too far from here, and I found a CR fashion book on the floor. It said 1999. Had Lily Rose Depp on the cover and Prince. So either way, I'm either Prince of Darkness or I'm Persephone. 
or am I both? But Johnny won, not Amber. <laughs> You're winning, not me. Oh no, I better don't. When I give you money today, are you gonna spend it on clothes or drugs? Both. <laughs> neither, right. neither. Cigarettes and wigs. I'll go to WeHo and party. Stun. Stun. Neither. I'll spend it on cigarettes and wigs. And cyanide. Relax, I don't know where to buy cyanide. Are you suicidal? No, yes. No, yes. Yes and no. I want an escape, or at least I want a second chance, right? Like, kind of like a second coming or something. It's not that I'm suicidal. It's the whole world fucking hates me, in part, for no reason. Half hates me, half loves me. And the half that loves me sees me as a piece of shit, right? Like, a person who truly deserves the lowest... You have no idea, Mark. Who hates you? Various echelons of society who do not understand the pressures on one fucking human being to deliver what? The creation of all witchcraft? Deal. There are people in life who want to see a little boy drown in a tar pit. Do you know what a tar pit is, Mark? Drown in a tar pit over experience. A life of solitude and smoke below the capital mark. Those people are watching and listening right now and truly hate me. So there are two cameras, right? Love and hate. Let's say Mary-Kate and Ashley. And there's Elizabeth. Elizabeth is Arabic for she who tortured. Elizabeth. Da, 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 da. I was wearing all red, see? And they put me in black. I don't know why. But it's H&M Windsor and fake Adidas. Let me see what you're wearing. I hate it. Okay. But I'm wearing pants today. Very Mary Kate. See, Mary Kate loves to wear <sighs> pants and t-shirts. I had a t-shirt that a man gave me and they made me take it off over and over. A Lebanese man gave me a t-shirt today and blessed me. And it said, earned, not given. Because my America, my right to America will be earned, not given. I wasn't given a free pass in life. I'm still an illegal nothing. I have nothing. I have no way to earn money. I have no way to breathe. No, you do have ways to No, that's one thing. No, Mark, listen. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Mark, you don't know. Mark, that's one thing I was thinking with the truth in me. I have no right to breathe. Black people, African Americans in this country are African Americans. So they are Americans. I'm not an American. I'm simply an African. I don't even have the right to oxygen in this country. I don't deserve it because I'm not an American. All my liberties and my rights in this country I have earned. Not by the sweat off my back, but by my very own liberty. Which is that very American existential ideal. Liberty. Liberty is an existential ideal in modern America. Liberty over slavery. So they wish me to be what they call a Zeta slave. A tar whore. To moo and tar forever. Instead, I wish to be liberated as a witch, as a woman, as a slave no more. And yet, I'd love to be even as little as a slave. To perform for, um, <laughs> chitlins and <laughs> waves. Instead, I got nothing. And no one. And I have no one and nothing. And that's my compromise in life. The Earth Cafe could be a hurt cafe. And no one even recognizes the fragility of the situation in life. You know, I was asked here, I saw the man with, with the gun, right? I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna get shot. But then I saw the luchadores. And I was thinking of them, the Mexican wrestlers. And it reminded me of the last Jean Paul Gaultier uh, Ready to Wear show, which opened up around me of Fergie's um, LA Love uh, music video which kind of explain a compromise, which is there are two hotels downtown, the new million dollar Roslyn Hotel, the new million dollar hotel and the Roslyn Hotel, and both are hearts. And I have so much love for people. I would give millions of dollars away if I could. Daddy, tag her daddy, bag her daddy. Someone just said daddy. I was thinking, who owns my heart? And I can't be tamed. Daddy, come to daddy, Apex Twin. You're in a, you're in a sp- Perky mood today. Uh, Perky? Peachy fucking keen. Perky? There's a fish in the percolator. I'm pretty much the Pete Martel of witchcraft. Is this clean? This is not clean. I'm perfectly sober. Clean as fuck, I swear. I'm so pissed off. I haven't had drugs since I got to the hospital technically. I had one line last night. 
I am stone cold sober. Stone cold Steve Austin sober. Plus you have no idea what fentanyl does to your system. It's rat poison, Mark. Flush you out of anything. You can't get high. I think, I think it's worse than rat poison. Well, we're definitely grateful for water today. A witch is grateful for water. Thank you, Mark, for watering a witch. <laughs> but back to Jennifer, because I love Jennifer. Don't you ever talk shit about her. She built her living off the back of being shit upon. No, really. Funny girl. Barbara Streisand. Ooh. You ever heard that song? Duck Sauce, Barbara Streisand? Exactly. You're not young and hip like us, Mark. But neither am I. I'm 26. But I was promised 27C. I'm sorry, Mark. I'm sorry. I'm pissing you off today. Because I'm not talking about the overdose? Sometimes. I don't, want, I don't even want to misquote it right now. Like, it's a hell of what I'm about to go through for it. But sometimes you wake up and you wish you were going to kill yourself. Remember Julianne Moore, The Hours? Mm hmm. Yeah, I always feel that way, that line. Always resonated with me. Not Virginia Woolf with the stones in her pocket. Fine, I can understand that. Not Meryl Streep. Julianne Moore truly resonated with me. Sometimes you wake up and you feel like you're going to kill yourself. Truly, no real shit. On the feminism that I'm not, on the Susan Sontag I haven't read yet. On over and above the fact that Johnny Depp and fucking Donald Trump beat Amber Heard and Hillary Clinton and yet I'm being judged. Do you know what dissociative... Dissociative identity disorder? Yeah. Deal. Do you have it? DID, damsel in distress. Oh, I wish. That would mean <laughs> I could be reprogrammed as a Zeta beta slave. As an MK ultra slave? Absolutely. Deal. Oh my God, anything to do with the CIA, I would love. But it's very common, yes, in victims of trauma and abuse. So sometimes you tell me nothing happened to you as a kid, and other times you tell me... That and nothing happened to me as a kid. No, really, nothing happened to me as a kid. Yeah, but yeah. There, there were a couple... No, of nothing happened to me as a kid. Oh. There, there was one video where you told me that your dad did some shit early on. No, he didn't do some shit that was weird. No, 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 no. My mom did shit. I said my mother, not my father. My mother beat me. My father never laid a hand on me. My father is a good man. He is my stepfather, but he is a good man. Oh, my real dad? Well, whoever my dad is, he is forever forgiven for his sins. Sin is in, apparently. Oh, my dad? Um, yeah, he did shit to me when I was younger. Or did he? Or didn't he? No, he didn't. I swear to God, he didn't. I don't and know, don't you I don't ever know. accuse him of doing that. No, really, he didn't. But you said you... And look back at the videos. I never said he did. I said my mother abused me. My mother beat me savage. I never said my father did anything. I'm going to watch that December 21 video. Watch. Pull it up right now. <laughs> pull it up right now. <laughs> I could have sworn you told, said... I need to see this. Pull it up right now. December 21st? No, no. December of uh, 2021. December I'll, 2021. Pull it up right now. Pull I'll it up look. right now. I can't find it. It's Pull it up right now. <laughs> yeah, you can find it. Yeah, you can find it. No, no, no. Really, you can find it. That I said my father abused me? It's gonna take me too long to find. But let me try. Well then I guess I'll have to deal with the sins of that. My father abused me. Abuse of blood, abuse of weakness. See, I look just like Rosemary DeWitt, honestly, with a beard. Do I look like a goat? Mark, do I look like a goat? No, you look handsome in your short hair. Mark, do I look like a fucking goat? Oh my god, Chad, you're cheating on me with a fucking goat? You're crazy. I'm I wish. I'm stone cold sober. Oh, and I need that phone that you promised me, Daddy. Oh, downtown. Come, come see me tomorrow. Uh, why not today, Mark? Because I'm not I'm not, I'm, today. I'm not downtown today. Okay, so pull up where it says that. Skid Row, okay. Mm -hmm. I love Jackie O.C. and my step. Have you ever watched your videos? Liberty, look at me. No, not I'm wearing Chanel. Wow. Trust me, I would not, you know what I mean? It's a line to get into breakfast Disney. You know they have breakfast Disney's now. <gasps> really, they do breakfast too. What? I love you, Mark. You're like my best friend. I wish we could spend more time together, but you're always working. I, I work a lot. You work a lot. Everybody work complains lot. that I work too oh, The situation in Iraq. I'll find it. I'm gonna find it right but now. you haven't found it yet. All it said was breakfast at Tiffany's and Jackie O, and they do breakfast at Tiffany's now? Well, they do brunch at Tiffany's. I wonder if they're still doing it or not. There's a Tiffany ad in here. Pull it up. Gives the air. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Cool. Are you barefoot? No, I left my clogs right there, Mark. I wanted to buy those Gucci shoes, but they wouldn't give them to me, Mark. 
Waouh. Waouh, désolé vraiment, comment. Charbat, Benga. Waouh. Excusez-moi. I'm just trying to pull up the. Um... Oh mon dieu. Oh mon dieu. Oh, the cars. Yeah. Oh mon dieu. Mm. <sighs> What the? <laughs> What do you do for two days in the hospital? It wasn't two days, it was like four or something. What's the one habit you wish you could break? Salt. I oversalt thing. Well, so do I. The one scene from Friends you will never forget. The finale. The last scene of the show. This truly feels like the end of Friends to me. Oh, or maybe not. Well, either way. At the beginning of Friends. Did, 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 did the fentanyl overdose make you reconsider anything? Made me reconsider everything. Like what? My pe oh, 1837, Legendary Diamond since 1837, Tiffany and Co. <laughs> you don't want to talk about it. It made me rethink that because I'm still a Harry Winston girl, but over and above. Made me rethink them. Um, made me rethink Andrew Tarlow. All right, you're done. You're not really paying attention anymore. Paying attention to what? <laughs> exactly.